In class, 89 of you provided estimates of temperature, and your mean was 21.78, while the standard deviation was 1.53. Let's see what we can do with that information. Can we be reasonably close by approximating your performance as temperature sensors using a Gaussian normal distribution? As usual, I'll copy the things I need to a fresh directory to work in. Point both my windows at that folder and do a little tidying up. Start a new notebook to work in. Make sure it's empty and restart the kernel. Set the mean, standard deviation, and number of students from the learning catalytics data. Take a look through the example files to see some of the functions that we'll use. Then try them out. Examples from a Gaussian distribution don't always give you the same histogram shape. Nor do the mean and standard deviation match the mean and standard deviation of the underlying distribution, but they usually come close your temperature data. We need to multiply by the standard deviation and add the mean in order to give us the numbers that match up with your uh, inputs from learning catalytics. Nine samples. There's enough variation in the results that I can believe the histogram from your learning catalytics data represents an underlying Gaussian probability distribution. To get better behaved data we need a lot more samples. Let's normalize our histogram so that the area under all of those blocks totals to a value of 1, the total probability. Now we can compare that normalized histogram directly with a Gaussian probability density function. It might be more convincing if we had some more bins in the histogram to make the curve smoother. Too many bins just emphasizes how rough our results are if we only have 89 samples to generate test data sets whenever you want to test out ideas on how you might process your data to extract useful information from it.